Okay, so they say, what is the value of the expression? And here it is, this negative 3x squared y plus 4x. And they tell us uh, to find the value, essentially, when x equals negative 4 and y equals 2. So those are the two variable values we have, x equals negative 4 and y equals 2. So when they set this up in this way, when they give you an expression and they tell you the value of the two variables, they want you to plug in or substitute these values for the variables in the equation. So when you see negative 3 x squared, that means negative 3 times what? Well, negative 4 is being squared, right? And just the negative 4 there, that's the exponents right next to that variable. And then that is being multiplied by y, and y is equal to 2. So now we have that expression, or term, and then it's 4 times x, or negative 4. So now we're just going to right, work out the arithmetic here. Negative 4 squared, what's that? Well, that's negative 4 times negative 4. Okay, well, what's that? Well, that's positive 16, right? So we have negative 3 times positive 16 times 2 plus 4 times negative 4. What's that? Well, that's just a positive times a negative, which is negative 16, right? So plus negative 16. So here our first uh, term is a negative times two positives, and that will give us a negative result, right? So negative 3 times 16, negative 48 doubles negative 96, right? You can do that right, yeah, negative 3 times 16 is negative 48 times 2 is negative 96 plus negative 16. When you add more negative value to a negative number, you get a negative result. You can just think of this as 96 plus 16, which is what? Well, that's 112, but in the opposite direction, right? Because we're adding negative values. The answer here is negative 112, right? So not positive 112. All right, hope this helped.